Welcome back to DNJ React, where music sparks conversation. And in today's conversation, Stray Kids, Sociopath, mm, which is interesting. So I guess this song, because it doesn't have lyrics on here, um, the thesis is um, the conclusive message behind Sociopath is that success cannot be achieved without some suffering or personal sacrifice. That is very true. Just to sum it up in a short little mm -hmm. sentence there. Um, what's cool about this though is it's featuring Lisa from Blackpink. Oh, is that right? I was literally just thinking the other day, I'm like, man, more groups should do collaborations yeah. together because you never really see any groups collabing together like guys, girls, like n none of them really collab. So this is the first time I've ever seen another K-pop artist join another K-pop yeah. group and collab together. I'm sure it probably does happen a lot more than we think. You know, we don't see all the songs that are out there, from, so it's from possible. From everything I have seen, I have, it's like very rare that you see an individual from a group go and collab with another group. Hmm. Like, I guess the only one we have seen is Psy and Suga together yeah, and that yeah, one's done it. at that, you right. know? But other than that, but technically, Sai is just, he's an individual. He's not like a K-pop group, you know what I mean? Right. He's an individual with solo. Suga, you know, going solo to do it with him. So right. this is the first time I've really seen a girl go from a group into another group. So right. it's interesting. <clears throat> I'm excited to see this. Uh, so It'll let's be jump. cool to see how it plays out. Let's jump in. The effects are already sick, dude. right? They always have good effects. Stray Kids is nasty with the effects, man. Dude. It kind of has that 90s punk rock feel to it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it does. It does. I, I feel it. Like all the teen movies and stuff that yeah. you watch in the in the nineties has those like theme songs and stuff. That's kind of what it kinda reminds like me. Fast drums. Yeah, the intro. really fast drums, kind of techno a little bit. Yeah. Wait a minute. Pause that. So he's in his bedroom. He's got all these people around him with bags on their heads. Is this like ugly girls? You have to bag them. What? All the all the people. They all those have are guys bags. back there too. Is it? Yeah. What the fuck are you saying about <laughs> what? I don't know. I thought maybe they were like ugly people. They had to bag them. Oh, they put up a bag over there. <laughs> no, nah, this is something about social path. I don't think this has anything to do with sexuality or anything. Um, I, mean, I don't know. He was in a bedroom. He's got all these people. I thought maybe these were like girls from his past. Maybe, I don't know. Bad drunk night or something. Right. And you're like, oh, you wake up next to him. And you're like, dude, put a bag on, please. Could be, dude. We've um, all been there. <clears throat> I haven't. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I just don't remember. So I guess part of this too is like them giving up their um, their youth as well for fame and success. I don't know. I mean, that would make sense. I don't I mean, like think about what they went through in their youth to get to where they are today, how much they had to give up. Oh, dude, all these, all these bands. I mean, yeah. they all started at, you know, 13, 15 years old. I mean, you're... Still growing. Yeah, you're so still much. a kid. You know, you still want to play, have fun, have that life. But obviously, if this is what you're pursuing, that all gets pushed to the side to be successful. Yeah, you 100% have to give up your childhood to be successful. Mm -hmm. But this scene right here, to, I don't know. Maybe you guys can explain what this scene means because I know it's definitely not what you <laughs> said. But sure. Um, let us know down in the comments what this scene means. It's all the ugly girls chasing him. Uh-oh, there she is! That's not Lisa. 
Wait, who the hell is that? It says featuring Lisa. Is that? Am I thinking of the wrong Lisa then? Well, maybe this. Maybe this is something different because this is L small I S A. Yeah, maybe this isn't Lisa from Blackpink. What the hell? Did I really get you, that wrong? Ye, you got it wrong, bro. So that's not Lisa from Tricked Black Pink then. Huh. Who is that then? Don't know. Oh, maybe that's what the bag, like all those people without faces basically, it's like the voices in his head. Yeah, they don't really be. have a face to them, they're just voices. Yeah, that's very possible. Oh. Oh. Now he's an Fallen angel. angel he's an dude. angel. Bro, his dude, voice I love that is voice. so deep. Uh oh. Floating away. I'm pissed that I thought it was Lisa and it wasn't Lisa. I was like really like pumped up to see Blackpink Lisa in here. Nope. I don't know who that girl was or what band she's from or if she's like a solo singer or not, but maybe you guys could let us know down in the comments. I mean, these guys obviously know. Of course they do, they're performing with her. I just don't personally know who that is, but damn dude, I'm pissed that it wasn't <laughs> Lisa from Blackpink. I was yeah. like hyped on their collab. <laughs> you got tricked. Damn they dude. They got you. See, mm -hmm. see, it's not very common that you see no, other. I know, I know, I know. So that my point is correct. Like you never really see them do collabs with each other, but that would be so sick if they did. I feel like that. Yeah. Maybe it's because like fandoms are so like toxic and stuff. Like that's if they true. Were, They'd probably fight against each other, which is kind of stupid. But I know. Um, but yeah, that would be really cool if you saw more artists doing collabs with each other because that essentially is what makes these bands like, you know, or at least like if on YouTube per se for us, like mm -hmm. if we collab with, you know, certain people and stuff, right. you, you get in front of their crowds and they get in front of your crowds, right. you know, it's like if you're helping, everybody's helping each other in the community. And it helps, helps it to grow more. I would like to see that more, but. Yeah, I don't know if I don't, that'll happen. I don't know if that'll happen. <laughs> Um, guys, thank you so much for recommending Social Path. That was, that was a pretty good song. However, I was a little disappointed. It wasn't Lisa from Blackpink, but I guess you can't get everything you want, right? No. Um, with that being said, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. And also jump over to Patreon if you want to see a bunch of content that is not on YouTube. Jump over there. We're giving seven days away for free. Um, also go check out GoFundMe as well. We need some help. Our computer is like badly breaking down. It's getting harder and harder to edit. We truly, truly need your help. Please, um, please help. <laughs> with that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.